Hey Tay here, so welcome to the VRTech channel, so V77, the latest update for the MetaQuest 2, MetaQuest 3, MetaQuest 3S, MetaQuest Pro, just arrived today. And this is one of the biggest updates so far, bringing completely a new UI ecosystem with the navigator, changing completely the way we're using our Quest devices. But it's not all because we're actually getting also automatic conversion from 2D to 3D pictures, the ability to pin our apps to ourselves, text to speech, and much more. So well, let's cover everything together in this video. Let's get into it. All right, so V77 is actually arriving already right now on the PTC, so the public test channel. I made a video already how to get over there and it's kind of a beta version. So uh, if you don't know what you're doing, maybe it's just better to skip and wait a minute because uh, this is still evolving with time. But as always, just be aware that even if you get the update, even on the PTC, that doesn't mean that you're actually getting the full update also with the navigator and that was actually happened to me with the three different headsets try to update to v77 and yeah i'm still on the old dashboard because as always for meta rollouts means nothing pretty cool so yeah my v77 might not be your 77 and uh, the 77 on one of these might be not the same of the other ones because some features will actually arrive some will arrive a bit later so uh don't sweat don't worry this is like the normal procedure is same so yeah let's discover it together shall we and let's start with the navigator what they say that we designed the navigator based on everything we have learned over the last decade and this is just the beginning of a broader evolution of Horizon OS with much more plan in the future of spatial computing, so stay tuned. Well, this is a new complete way to actually interact. The new UI got a complete overall, making it completely unrecognizable from what we had prior to this. The idea now is to have a big translucent panel in front of us to actually manage our application, to actually manage the quiz settings, the pass through, our worlds, etc. etc. So clicking on the meta button on your controller or the old Oculus button, you're gonna have this new UI in front of you. And for that, you're gonna be able to see your library, pin up to 10 applications at the top of the library so you don't have to scroll completely. And as always, always be able to use the, your multitasking features with all the different panels around the room. By the way, the construct made a walkthrough of the new UI. I'm gonna actually link this video down below if you wanna go more in depth about it. But yeah, I kind of have mixed emotions about this one because it seems like they just threw away everything that meant to have a spatial actual system and now it's just something flat in front of you where you select things and then uh, you get thrown in a different UI this is the one with the flat applications that you move can move around the environment I see that they're trying to make something more easy to use and streamline but I don't know it doesn't look any easier so I don't know decided that it's a good idea when you actually you go over uh, and icons to actually delete the name of the icons it seems like completely counterintuitive uh, such a weird thing that's just bad UX also why I love the fact that when you open the navigator you get directly to a library and, and not to all those weird social things that we had uh, on the quest uh, I don't think that it's gonna stay forever at the end of the day we're talking about meta they want to push uh, their social environment so let's enjoy it till we can do you find it confusing do you like the direction of the new UI having just a flat panel in front of you or did you like the idea of more spatial environment I mean the second big feature is Instagram photos in 3D. So also this one will roll out for some people, not everyone. And thanks to AI, flat picture taken with regular photos on Instagram will now gonna be converted directly in 3D pictures that you can view directly in the app without uh, doing anything. Uh, this is a very cool thing that we saw also on the Spatial OS and on Pico to actually convert photos from 2D to 3D. And this is the first time we see it happening directly in social network and Instagram seems to be uh, the perfect fit being like a photo social network so yeah of course this feature didn't roll out to me as well but you're gonna be able to see uh, the sense of depth in the pictures that people are posting even if they were created with regular cameras and not special cameras I do really like the direction of this I do love 3d pictures and 3d videos I think they bring so much more embodiment than the regular pictures but 
yeah, we're gonna see how it works. Then there's move your window. This is a feature that actually was present in Windows Mixed Reality. I'm glad it is arriving over here as well. Uh, you can now select a window that follows you around as you move. This update removes the need for you to constantly reset your view each time that you move around the room. At this time though, that's only available on one window at a time. There's now the possibility to turn off special audio on and off. That's a preference and now you got it. There's now support for Bluetooth LE audio. So low energy Bluetooth accessories are now finally supported from the system. Text to speech is arriving. So in accessibility feature, that is a feature that allows you to hear text spoken out out loud by hovering over the text on the screen. Just compatible with some menus and applications, but hopefully we're gonna get more about it in the future. And now there's a new button combination for Meta AI, where before uh, many times like, you could actually activate the AI even if you didn't want to. Now you have to hold on the Oculus button and on the grip button at the same time for a period of time. So uh, it's not gonna be as easy to do it, just not on purpose. But yeah, what do you think about it? What do you think about this new UI? Do you think that it's less confusing or more confusing than what we had before? Uh, for sure is a big difference uh, from what we saw. And it seems like that every manufacturer with the Android XR with Spatial OS and now Meta Horizon are going all in the same direction of a big menu of apps in front of you and then having that completely separated from all the multitasking features. What I really like in the bottom right is the ability to actually like, uh, you know, hide completely all your application in once and then get them back in front of you. That's very good for multitasking and to use, you know, your headset in mixed reality environments where sometimes you just need to see through everything. But yeah, I don't know, this UI feels very flat to me and also very disconnected from the multitasking part with all the panels and the, you know, the new navigator. They seem like two different OS like stuck together. Hopefully they can work on the design to actually make it look better and more streamlined, let's say. But yeah, big changes are coming and you can tell that they are getting ready for also different manufacturers to actually use um, Horizon OS that from later this year is gonna hopefully work also on different devices, not just Meta ones. Also, finally, they divided the worlds from our apps. It was awful to have them all mixed together. So yeah, prompt to that. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Did you actually receive the PTC? Did you receive the new navigator or still waiting on it like me with all these guys over here? Plus the Quest Pros that are not in camera. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you like the video, like, if you did like this is like, subscribe to the channel for more of your tech, if you really love the channel, join button on there. Don't further also the Patreon. Thanks for the Patreons for join the channel, of course. And I see you guys in the next video. <laughs> We're gonna have to review this thing over here.